Bobber and jig? Bead fishing? Bobber and worm? Plugs and spinners. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another top 5 fishing video here at Herman's Outdoors. Today we're going through the top 5 steelhead fishing states. Steelhead are ocean trout that hatch in rivers, head out to the ocean, and come back to their birthplace in the river to spawn. And when you hook a steelhead, they can put up a fight. Over the last couple years, I've had a chance to chase summer and winter steelhead around Oregon, and I've started to get hooked into chasing these fish of a thousand casts. In my opinion, steelhead are tough to catch, but they are a ton of fun to fight, and for most anglers, it's about the chase up and down the river, looking in every pocket of water to find that 20 pounder or that chromed out hatchery steelhead to take home for dinner. And especially chasing winter steelhead, you have to be a diehard angler in the cold and rainy conditions for a chance to chase a bite for a steelhead. So if you're looking to chase an ocean trout across the country, then you need to fish one of these top five steelhead fishing states. Number five. Alaska. More known for salmon and halibut fishing, Alaska has underrated steelhead fishing opportunities for anglers across the state. And the majority of steelhead fishing happens on rivers in southeast Alaska, with the Sitak being the pinnacle river in Alaska to go after steelhead. Anglers can travel throughout hundreds of rivers in the southeast portion of the state to fish for steelhead. I found it crazy researching, but for the state of Alaska, 319 out of the 340 steelhead waterways listed for the state for steelhead fishing are in the southeast area of the state. But the state of Alaska also says that there could be hundreds more unlisted rivers and waterways that hold steelhead that are unknown. And that's wild to think that there are places to explore and fish for steelhead that have never been explored before. Imagine being dropped off by a bush plane from Juneau and fishing only to know that the waterway that you go out to fish might be unlisted on the state's regulations or maps, but it might hold some steelhead. Maybe we can get a small group of steelhead anglers to find these new waterways and get them documented. It may take a few million casts to catch a few steelhead, but think of all the unfished waters out there. You can also find some steelhead fishing in the Kenai Peninsula and the Kodiak areas with small rivers only seeing a couple hundred steelhead a year. The good news is most of the steelhead in Alaska will spawn more than once, which keep the numbers strong for years to come. Early spring and late fall runs are the best time for steelhead fishing in Alaska, so bundle up and get ready to make a few thousand casts to find that trophy Alaskan steelhead. Number 4. New York. Upper New York has summer and winter steelhead runs from the Lake Ontario tributaries and the Lake Erie tributaries. Steelhead aren't native to the region, but planted from steelhead from the state of Washington in the 1960s as the state of New York built up a stocking program to keep salmon, trout, and steelhead populations healthy. Today, New York has epic steelhead runs on the Salmon, Oswego, and Sandy Creeks and dozens of small rivers and waterways. New York is the example of building a strong steelhead fishery and maintaining water access and fishing opportunities for recreational anglers. The management of steelhead in the upper state of New York has provided fishing opportunities for anglers year-round thanks to the stocking program of steelhead with the summer and winter runs. And for all you East Coasters, book a guide and go steelhead fishing in New York. There is nothing like a snowy trip down the river in cold temperatures only to have that warm feeling of hooking a giant steelhead. Number 3. Washington. Washington State has some world-class steelhead fishing rivers across the state. What I love about Washington State is the access to chase steelhead from anywhere in the state within a 60-minute drive. And if you live on the Olympic Peninsula, you have so many rivers and waterways to chase steelhead. Off the Columbia River, tributaries like the Cowlitz River have had some of the best steelhead fishing in the state and the country, and it attracts anglers from all over, including Canada, Oregon, and Idaho. But very recently on rivers in northern Washington like the famous Forks River, yes, Forks is in the Twilight movie series, one of my wife's favorites, the state of Washington has restricted angling to be bank fishing only on the Forks River as a way to help with the declining wild steelhead numbers. Changes like this for recreational anglers and guides is detrimental to fishing rivers like the Forks since it's 95% fishing from a boat or a raft. Now steelhead numbers have been declining over the last 15 years on a bunch of Washington rivers, but stripping access from anglers on specific rivers to protect 
Trek Wild Runs of 20 plus pound steelhead is tough. I think there's other ways of supporting getting wild and hatchery steelhead numbers up in states like Washington, but stripping away access of fishing from a boat doesn't really make sense. States like New York have figured out how to build thriving steelhead runs, and if Washington doesn't make some positive progress soon, they may not remain on this top five list in the near future. I'm hoping for you, Washington. You guys can do it. Number two. Michigan. When it comes to steelhead fishing, Michigan continues to make a name for itself as a top fishing state. That includes steelhead fishing. Similar to New York, the state of Michigan throughout the 50s and 60s worked to increase fish numbers of salmon and steelhead in the state, leading to the Department of Natural Resources stocking nearly 21 million fish per year, including hundreds of thousands of steelhead. The Wolf Lake State Fish Hatchery in particular recently stocked 6 million fish, most of which were yearling steelhead and spring Chinook salmon. And because Michigan has prioritized steelhead stocking and fish programs, the steelhead runs on rivers like the Muskegon, the Pear Marquette, and the Manistee rivers are chock full of steelhead, and some days you can catch 20 plus steelhead in a day. And with varying runs across the different river systems in Michigan, you will get late fall, winter, and spring steelhead runs, which give anglers an opportunity to chase steelhead all year long. Most of the steelhead fishing on the rivers across northern and western Michigan is done by drift boat. So book a guide and get out on the water. I'll bet you have a day of 15 plus steelhead, no problem. And number one, Oregon. When you can catch a steelhead 12 months out of the year, you have found your number one steelhead state. And yes, Oregon is my home state, but it's the best steelhead fishing in the country for a few reasons. First, you can fish for steelhead on dozens of rivers in the state. Up and down the Oregon coast, tributaries off the Columbia and Willamette rivers, the state has so many opportunities for summer and winter steelhead. When you can take a drive from Portland 90 minutes and hit 30 plus river systems that hold steelhead during the year, that's opportunities that we recreational anglers and guides love. And if there's one river to chase steelhead, you have to fish to the Deschutes River in the summer. The steelhead fishing isn't as good as it was in the 1980s when anglers would catch 25, I heard sometimes 100 steelhead in a day, but in my opinion, it remains a world-class fishery for steelhead. The Deschutes is one of the best fly fishing rivers in the country and also holds plenty of trout and steelhead in the summer and makes for some epic days of fishing when the flies are hatching. But just remember to wear a face mask or shield when the flies are out. Don't ask me how I know. And that's my top five steelhead fishing states. Now grab a rod and head out to one of these states to catch one of those big ocean trout. And you never know when there's gonna be a giant right around the river bend. Now hit the like button, subscribe if you like fishing and other outdoor content. Now get out there to one of these states for some epic steelhead fishing.